Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about the unambiguous range of the radar system as the radar range provides an important role in the applications of radar. So let's begin with the topic. We know that radar is basically used for detection and location of the target. So for that purpose, range of the radar plays an important role in any of the application. Based on the range provided by the radar system, the radar system used in many applications which includes military application, remote sensing application or measuring speed of vehicles on the highway or for the law enforcement and many non-contact measurement in the industrial application. So all these applications having one of important parameter and that is nothing but the range of the radar. So in this video, we are basically going to talk about the elaboration of the radar range and we are going to talk about the concept of unambiguous radar and concept of ambiguous range. So we are going to discuss the following points and the points are definition of unambiguous range. The second point is nothing but the pulse period and received eco relationship. Then we are going to discuss about the equation of unambiguous range. And finally, at the end, we'll take some MCQs. So let's start with the definition of radar. The radar stands for radio detection and ranging equipment. In case of simple radar equation, it provides the information about two things. The first thing is nothing but the two-way propagation time, that is two-way propagation distance. And second thing is about the overall time period taken by the operation. That time period is nothing but the time taken by the signal to travel from transmitter to target and again travel back from target to the receiver which is called as eco signal. So this simple radar range equation is very easy to implement but when we use the radar in practical it is not possible to use the same equation because performance of the radar practically get affected by many parameters and because of that it may possible that the range of the radar may get changed. The effect of parameter we are going to discuss in this topic also. Now when there is an error in evaluation of the range, then the range is called as ambiguous range. The ambiguous range is basically an incorrect range. That means the range do not match with the actual or true value of the range. Now, in case of radar, the true value or actual value is called as unambiguous range. But it is not always necessary that the unambiguous range is always equal to the true range because there are many parameters which actually affects the performance of the system and because of that the value of range may get changed. So the formula which we have used for calculating the range provides the approximate value of the range but practically that value may get vary. So now here we require to introduce one of the important term in the radar and that is nothing but the pulse repetition frequency or pulse repetition rate. The pulse repetition frequency is nothing but the rate at which the radar transmits the pulse or we can say the maximum number of pulses that is obtained at the output of radar is called as pulse repetition frequency. Now during transmission when the radar transmit pulse to in the direction of the target then the radar system has to wait for the certain period of time so that the echo signal get received back to the receiver. So that period of time basically determines the rate at which we can transmit the pulse. When radar transmit the signal toward the direction of the target, then there are many parameters which affect the signal and because of which the time may be required for eco signal to come back to the receiver. So the radar system requires to wait for the certain period of time before transmitting the next pulse. Now in this case, let's consider one example that is if the waiting period of radar is very short, then in that case it may possible that the received echo signal may get associated with the wrong transmitted pulse and that results into the error condition. So the range measured in this case is called as ambiguous range. Now let's assume the time duration between the two pulses is denoted by TP and let's consider one case in which if TP is too short and the echo signal which is arrived from long range target received before after transmission of the next pulse. So it may possible that the echo signal may get associated with the next pulse and because of which it provides the range value which is an incorrect value because the echo signal required to be associated with the first pulse but because the time duration between the pulses is very small it get associated with the next pulse. Therefore it is very much important in case of radar system the waiting period must have the enough value. Now let's consider the formula for pulse repetition frequency or pulse repetition time. So the formula is C 
so here run is nothing but maximum unambiguous range provided by the radar system and it is given by c into tp divided by 2 here c is the range or the propagation time which is equals to the speed of light and tp is the pulse duration between the two pulses now we can write the same equation in the form of pulse repetition frequency which is denoted by fp as we know frequency is a reciprocal of time period therefore we can write the equation of maximum unambiguous range as c upon 2 fp now let's move to the graph so that we can understand the relationship between the range and the frequency. So the figure shows the relationship between the pulse repetition frequency on x-axis and unambiguous range on y-axis. Now from the graph we will come to know that as the value of frequency gets increases, the value of unambiguous range goes on reducing because as the frequency is get increases, the received echo signal at the receiver may get associated with the wrong pulse. So the chances of this association gets increased which results into the formation or results into the calculation of incorrect range or ambiguous range. So when the pulse repetition frequency is less then at that time the value of unambiguous range is very high. So this relationship between the unambiguous range and the pulse repetition frequency provides linear relationship. Now here we require to consider one point that the pulse repetition frequency is different from the carrier frequency of the radar system and the value of pulse repetition frequency is always less than the value of carrier frequency used in the radar system. So this is what about the unambiguous range and the ambiguous range which is obtained in the radar system. Unambiguous range is basically true range or the actual range and ambiguous range is a range with the error system. But it is not always necessary that unambiguous range is always equal to the ambiguous range. So now let's move to the multiple choice question. So the first question is the meaning of unambiguous range is and the options are true absolute range. Option B is correct range evaluated with association of transmit and receive pair signal and third option is range with error. So unambiguous range is nothing but the range that is true range or actual range. When the correct echo signal get associated with the correct transmit pulse then it gives the value of unambiguous range that is a true range. Therefore we can say option B is considered as a right option. Now let's move to the next question. And the question is the pulse repetition frequency and unambiguous range both are related with each other and we have two options that is true or false. Definitely there is a relationship between the pulse repetition frequency and unambiguous range. Now moving back to the graph. So the graph shows a relationship between the pulse repetition frequency and unambiguous range. As frequency increases the value of unambiguous range goes on decreasing because there may be a chances of error may get produced in the calculation of range. So the statement that is the pulse repetition frequency and unambiguous range both are related with each other is considered as a true statement. So this is what about the unambiguous range and ambiguous range which is used in the radar system as the range plays an important role in the radar system. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.